immune system is basically our body's defense system against all things foreign. Not only is our immune system effective at killing, it's also really effective at communication, memory, tagging other cells when it needs the help. It's a huge specialized army. And to the naked eye, it's invisible. Unlike other systems where we can point to a center, like the heart or the brain, the immune system is unique in that it lives everywhere, and it is always on the move. Survival out here is extreme. There are days when I feel like I'm floating across the landscape and everything is beautiful. And then there are other days when I'm totally wrecked, exhausted, dehydrated, very sleep deprived. I know full well that at any point in time, I could die. My name is Kat Bigney, and I have been teaching and consulting in the wilderness for over two decades. In many ways, this is my home. At times, I'll spend months out here with very limited contact with the outside world. To survive in this environment, requires a lot of awareness and the ability to embrace hardship and discomfort. Every time I'm out, I end up having some sort of cut or abrasion at the spines of my hands and feet. It's just hard. On a microscopic level, our bodies are in a constant struggle with the environment. And the immune system manages every second of that struggle. very specialized to create a boundary between us and the outside world. Imagine you're in the midday desert heat. You're walking on hot, loose rocks. What are you relying on most to stay alive? It's your biggest organ. And it also happens to be the bedrock of the immune system. Skin. From the moment we are born, we are exposed to the external environment and the sun's rays, but also the extraordinarily <coughs> complex environment that's generated oh no, by our own bodies and <laughs> The outermost layer of our skin is like a brick wall that can breathe. It's made up of cells that Bind tightly together to keep out UV rays, foreign objects. Hello, everyone. I'm Artifacts Mom from Cebu. Another first line of defense. Uh, and in, our in case the guy could not talk, our talk our meaning, I'm nervous and not concentrate because I'm drawing. But as tight a barrier uh, as let's is, start. Occasionally, something yeah. does end up this area knows maybe this next time we're part two <laughs> will be part one the nose and after the mouth maybe next time let's con concentrate first the nose okay let's start let me take this first, my yellow, the gold, I uh, will use first the gold one, 
Oh, Shoni, please. Silent, Shoni, please for Mama. Support for Mama, Shoni. Quiet. Okay. I'm using this one, the gold, and the yellow. Maybe later this one. Let me use this first, the gold one. Shawnee, I love you, Shawnee. Please support Mama. I'm using the yellow or the gold. I mean the gold. Just patiently draw, sketch it, sketch, sketch lang, patient lang. Mm, that's, that's it. And then over here. Our cells that constantly replenish the skin above it. And so, yeah. Inflammation from damage sensitizes those cells. So the next time around, they actually respond. Hello, Zimron. Hello, my son. Thank you for supporting me here. So after decades of cactus bones, cat's primary defenses are way tougher. Just put it in gold first, then layering. It's the important thing. Don't worry. This area, uh, the same principle here. I'm also listening to science, human body. Maybe climbing up some huge feature to look out for water, just praying mm. that I can keep going. Para, my education now, so I'm not explanation by the human body. As strong as it can be, the immune system is please do not start. <laughs> it depends on how healthy Support your mom. Water is essential to the immune function. Monitored by the brain. Thirst is primarily regulated by a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus has receptors that can sense the concentration of the blood and decide whether we need a little more fluid to thin the blood out a little bit, or whether maybe we're overhydrated and we don't need to drink anymore. The kidneys also play a role. So, like lots of things in the body, this is a team approach with multiple different organs involved. <laughs> Thank you, Floor. Be nervous, Naku Floor. Sketch, sketch. Oh, no, Shoni. <laughs> Please support Mama. Babe, lang Shoni. Love, man, at Mama. I love you, Shawnee. And this is Shawnee. This is si Mama. Please. Ilum ng sa. Edi ko ka concentrate, Shawnee. Kung magsaba ka. Running water. This is golden. Boil it to kill any parasites. Hi, so I won't drink ABC crayons. 
Thank you for coming. Cats' ability to survive comes from knowing how to use natural resources to Let's advantage. practice together. Understanding the limits her body can be pushed. Over time, some of those limits have gotten more extreme. Since your body will adapt to surviving in these elements over time. But initially, while your body's adjusting, it's incredibly difficult. I have been in situations where I'm in a bad place, but the most important thing is that I trust my body. The desert's an interesting place in terms of temperature. It can get really, really hot during the day. Mm, almost covered night, with gold. And over here. I had my water freeze during the night and then been in temperatures over 100 degrees during the day. Just slight. After years of training, cats bodies then you go back here. Just playing. <laughs> you just like playing, you know. Shawnee again, please. That's my dog. <laughs> He was so uh, she was so jealous to regulate hormones that impact our body temperature or basic homeostasis she wants more attention so in the sweltering heat of the day cat's baseline body temperature is naturally higher she'll also sweat more and her sweat will be diluted more which leaves more salt inside her body for energy and during the freezing nights She'll shiver less, allowing her to retain more heat. Maintaining a poor body temperature is paramount in a survival situation. That's why shelter. Can you hear the the sounds about our human body? I hope you will enjoy listening. It's a constant negotiation between body and nature. Yes, body and nature. And survival means trusting that you can handle more than you think. I've faced many nights wondering if I would be alive in the morning with heat, with hypothermia. Then let's use this the, seeds, the flash dark flash one. Extreme dehydration. Or the. I think that people are innate survivors. I wouldn't be here right now if someone in my cast had been an excellent survivor. And that's true of everyone on the planet. The you follow it. The species is being innovative and creative and overcoming and adapting. But we've lost faith in our ability. We've lost faith in our ability not to conquer nature, but to live in it. It's really important for us to reconnect with nature because it teaches us something about ourselves. ABC Crayons. How old are you? May I know your age? The human body is often are you still studying? Sort of weak, right? Like compare ourselves to predators like lions and tigers or something. We don't have big sharp teeth. <coughs> oh no, Shawnee, you're entertaining time. me so again. Think about humans that way, I'm always surprised by the sorts of situations that humans can survive. Can you still follow? The reality is that every environment on Earth is teeming with threats that we can't see. Our immune system is incredibly effective at defending our bodies. We encounter thousands of pathogens or microbes every single day, from kitchen counters to doorknobs to sitting on a subway. The vast majority of the time, we don't even notice. But how does our body know what to do in the first place? And why is it that some things make us sick and others don't? Yes. What we do know is that everybody's immune system is different. And how it functions is altered constantly. <laughs> oh no, did not start Shawnee. Support mama, please. This is my problem. My dogs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Especially Shawnee. <laughs> now let's use. Let's 
try pink. It's kind of pink. Or maybe this one. Let's use this purse, it's lighter. She's more girly than I am. She loves to do her makeup and things like that. I like to go shopping. I like to go to the mall, watch movies. My room's always clean. Katarina's room is a mess all the time. <laughs> yes, patiently. Like, I just love to be at the ranch every day, almost all the time. 24-7, I'll be here with the horses. When she comes back from the ranch, she stinks. Um, everybody tells her Thank to go you shower. so much. Thank you so much, my Every friend. Like you shouldn't be. <laughs> oh no, that's my dog again. <laughs> I hope uh, it would. Think about patiently. Patiently. I oh, know my dog again. Shani, please support Mama. Just trust the process. It may take long, but see at the end. What we encounter and when is a huge part of why everyone's immune system is different. It looks so messy, but don't worry. <laughs> it definitely. We cannot, uh, cannot appreciate this at this moment. 
it looks so messy but it's okay when a young body has to defend against something cells release antibodies that kill the threat other cells then remember how to make that antibody so that if the same bug comes back it can be killed instantly these are the same antibodies that might one day be passed down to the next generation so the Let's use orange. This is nothing. We can just ignore this. Ooh, this is super serious. Red alarm. Orange. We really need to do something about this. And this training seems to be really essential. Orange. Kids who spend time in nature seem to have an advantage. And the floor, are you still there? As to my sister, <laughs> she's in bed for like oh no. two weeks, you know, she's, it's, it hits her hard. When I was in high school, I did get sick. I stayed home for like a month. I think I had like a respiratory virus. And it was not fun. Kids who are not exposed to enough germs early on are really at a disadvantage and are at a higher risk for developing disease because their immune system doesn't know what to do when it sees something later on. Oh, mm, at the eye. As we age, Must expose us to any kind of disease. Para dinit makurata na itong body. Cross hatching, call it cross hatching. Like all blood, these cells are born in the bone marrow. Then they migrate to the thymus gland. It's here the T cells go through serious training and they pick up different skills. Some T cells leave the thymus as assassins, others come out as intelligent capable of remembering the virus with fast detection and fast execution. Because of all this action, the thymus is larger in kids, and it peaks in our teenagers. What I love about being here the most is bonding with the horses, grooming him, washing him, Hello, ABC. Are you still there? Bacteria in the dirt that can neutralize the sweat and help clean them. Getting out and getting sweaty, all the things that seem to work so well in the animal kingdom, I think work really well for us as humans. Can you see the difference now? <laughs> I cannot still appreciate it. This moment still messy. But... 
if there Animals was. Are also the source of some of our most we'll see. Zoonotic diseases come in many shapes and sizes, and some are really, really creepy. What happens is you have an animal host, and then something that transmits it to a human, be like a spider or a mosquito. This represents a huge public health threat. Yes, let's use the okra. Malaria. Swine flu. It's the only available. Many of our most lethal outbreaks can be traced to wildlife. And how close we live to animals and to each other plays a huge role. That's something that wasn't true. Start for the shadow. The significance of infectious diseases relative to the Today, you have a lot of individuals that live in very large nose that are in close proximity and often interacting with each other, then that does. Um, read conditions for pandemic disease. As our population grows, outbreaks are becoming more frequent. Yes, outbreaks. In more hindsight, frequent. is 2020. What can we learn from those who faced past plagues and live to tell the tale? <laughs> and that's my dog, my supportive dog. <laughs> She's cheering of me. She said, Go, Mama, go, Mama. Had joint aches and pains, copious vomiting and diarrhea. Oh, see? <laughs> My support. Supporting dog. Cheering on me. My name is Adora Alcoli, a medical doctor interested in infectious diseases. And also, I don't know, in 2014. Viruses cause millions of deaths every year. But most of them come from diseases that we are familiar with, like the flu or HIV. So, when a disease that's been lurking quietly in an obscure cave suddenly jumps to a human and starts to spread, it's cause for alarm. Yes, like coronavirus. Especially if it happens in a place with limited resources. Growing up in Nigeria, I fell in love with medicine and the idea of helping people. A lot of people really didn't have access to healthcare. If you were in an emergency situation and you didn't have the money to pay, you couldn't see the doctor. Oh, oh, see, my supporting dog, dog. She's cheering me again. When I finished medical school, I started working as a medical officer. It was during that time that the Ebola outbreak struck in West Africa. The Ebola virus has already killed over 3,000 people across West Africa. A growing number of health workers are falling victim to the disease, adding yet more pressure to an epidemic that who has called the most severe acute public health emergency in modern times. Although deadly outbreaks end up being remembered as epic battles, every major epidemic that has brought humanity to its knees can be traced back to something imperceptibly small. There are some pathogens which are really aggressive or dangerous, and a lot of it has to do with their mechanism of action, how they attack our bodies. A cell is, you know, most simply speaking, the basic unit of life. It's the smallest functional unit that life can be. You could argue that viruses are a little smaller. A virus is this little biological agent that has one central goal to get inside of cells, reproduce itself, and then spread to another host. And along the way, it can cause a lot of damage. Viruses emerged from the ether about 1.5 billion years ago. And the fact that they've been I'm still so following, long, guys. They're really good at what they do. Mm, I'm just concentrating, enjoying this. These this techniques causing it to spit out copy after copy of new virus particles 
In this technique, you should have a lot of patience. The virus doesn't just want to colonize that single host. It wants to spread through populations. What made the 2014 outbreak of Ebola widespread and so dangerous is people were contracting the disease without even knowing it. And by that time, there were land crossings happening between Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. And the disease built a community base and was spreading before any alarms were off. And that type of growth gets out of hand quickly. Say you start with one sick person. If that number doubles every three days, you're going to end up with 67 million infections in under three months. On the 20th of July 2014, I was working in a private hospital in Nigeria, and a Liberian diplomat was ordered to the hospital with mysterious symptoms. When I saw him in bed, he had his ID bag right next to him. So the first thing I did was pick up the ID bag and put it back on the stand. And that might have been the mm, to... entry into my system. 24 hours later, I got caught. The patient tested positive. He had Ebola. And um, 24 hours after mm. we had the result, Almost. the patient was found in his bedroom. At that point, Sorry for the messy style. <laughs> it could be any of us the next day. Since, uh, since elementary, I really like to, to use ball pens rather than pencil. I don't know. I love ball pens, colored ball pens. Shortly after that. I started to have joint aches and pain, sore throat, loss of appetite, loss, feverish, had vomiting and oh, so And I thought, this is it. This is really it. Shadow, you the need to. Is extremely because the shadow. The neighbor's dog is also supporting me. You see it? And let's go back to the yellow or the gold. For the highlights, you need yellow is very important or the gold is very important if you use ball pen drawing especially for the skin this is the important color of all but it's not easy to find fine ball pen at the market or mall in the public Let's start. Every Ebola patient has a moment of denial because nine out of ten people who have Ebola die. What are the odds that I would be the one out of ten who would survive? Sorry for the system becomes overwhelmed with the virus which has replicated. That's when we die. So I thought to myself, I have to really drink this horror we had wishes. You still following? I had a bottle in my hand every time, even when I was asleep, I had a bottle right next to me. Just in case I vomited, I could replace my fluids. I could only hope that my new system was strong enough to fight the virus. Even on its last legs, our immune system keeps fighting. T cells hone in on Ebola infected cells. They bind to the surface and release toxins that travel through the cell's membrane and kill them. Other cells fire chemical missiles and antibodies. Stop the virus. 
as the immune systems get into our hand, the body systems come back online and damaged tissue starts to heal. Most people think so <laughs> got better after seven days or so. Because it was a matter of time. Hi. After five days. Nazla uh, Naz Naz Art. Hello. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Essential na sa mga dogs ko kasi yan mga number one fan ko dito sa bahay. Yung mga aso ko. Even the, the neighbor's dogs shouting for go artifacts mom do it you can do it can you hear them oh, see that's my fans <laughs> my kamustang weather sa inyo there is a Cebu na ay typhoon bad ang among weather the rip sis sa inyo ha how's that hello father and son art tv thank you for coming sorry for the very messy sketching but it's part of the process uh, thank you. I'm okay, medyo. Ito, mga fans ko, mga aso ko. They keep on shouting. Go, mama, go, mama. <laughs> Kamusta? Sensya na ha. Mix ang akong dialect. Kasi I'm Cebuano, Bisaya, but I'm from Davao del Sur. Pero na anak ko sa Cebu na puyo or na... Thank you so much. Kini, uh, this is very important day. Oh, see. Pasensya na kayo sa mga asa. Ito ang... Uh, Ito pala ang, uh, it's very important, the gold. Uh, tingnan niya ito ha. Ito yung gold. Ito ang pinaka-importante pag mag-drawing kayo ng ball pen. Then, the, the yellow, it's more... Um, ito kasi na class ito kasi na class medyo darker siya na yellow then itong gold medyo light uh, ito pala yung ano niya brown tapos ito yung paper mate then yung may isa din akong ginagamit for yellow this one Ito kasi ang mga importante sa lahat ng ballpen ko. Let's, let's go back to the pink. Uh, pink. Let's go back to the pink. Para na ikuntur kuntur Importante kasi ang contouring sa mga colors combination. I was 
cancer that forms in the bone marrow and spreads out through your blood, destroying your cells in the body. Our DNA is really just a molecule. Thank you, sis. It's not perfect. It's prone to getting damage over time. Messy lang yung ano ko, style ko talaga pero just trust the process. Mamaya, makikita nyo yung combination ng mga kulay. Uh, actually, wag kayong matakot mag-explore sa mga color. Kasi, ang mga color yung magbibigay ng ganda sa mga shadows. Hindi kasi ako typical na artist yung gumagawa ng uh, one color. Mahilig talaga ako sa combination. Lalo na sa ball pen. Uh, mas mag-enjoy ko sa mga maggamit ng ball pen. I love colored pencil also, pero mas mag-enjoy ko sa ball pen kasi ma-mix ma na ko mga colors. And I love it very well. And now, nag-concert na ako mga aso. Si Pachi. Si Pachi is uh, multiple and then amo chitsu na si Twix and then ang amo ang Askal <laughs> na si Shawnee <laughs> nag concert na sila uh, mag start na ko po ang hot shadow sa sa ilong even if it's black Ato dia po ni siya. Thank you for supporting me, ha. Can you see it? And then, let's go back to the brown. Pangit kasi kung purely black ang ginagamit mo dyan. Dapat Lagyan mo na umber or brown. After finally being in the clear when I was 12, <laughs> you get back to normal life as much as possible. Yeah, my cheat so ako. Yung pinakam. And I really got back to being when I was about 20 years old. Uh, A third time. I'm using the umber, and uh, this is the fine. After all that happened, the doctor came back in and she was okay. like, we have this study where we use your immune system to fight off the cancer. The concept of immunotherapy sounds very sci-fi. At the okay. heart of it, it's a very simple idea. It's fine Our immune now. system is designed to protect us. The shadow is coming up. The issue is that cancer usually comes from your own body, and so your immune system is not educated to recognize it as bad. So immunotherapy is really excluding you your immune it? system to recognize your cancer cells as being bad. Cancer is a cellular disease, and each of those cells have their own... Enjoy mo lang yung combination ng mga colors. Interacting with our bodies on that. Next, the other one. Trillions of cells. And they can open up a whole new way to view health and disease that is much more nuanced. A century ago, scientists realized they could treat cancer by intentionally triggering their patient's immune system. Like by injecting the virus. Music background, kaya yung ano na lang. Educational backgrounds, sounds, para. Mas maganda yung educational yung music background. <laughs> then, 
the power of umber Power of Amber. Okay, sounds good. What can I sign? Um, Papa, I know. Papa, we eat him. In Seattle, he was the second patient that we've ever. Yung lips ko ba as next na? Yung sa ilong. Ah, actually. Yung sa ilong, kailangan mo lang yung pag-contour, kailangan mo malaman yun or yung shadow talaga ang magpapaliit ng ilong kasi pag, pag di mo mamalagyan ng, or actually yung sa, paano yan? Pag di mo ma, ano yung shadow, di talaga yan niliit. Kailangan mo yung shadow talaga. You, you always improve the shadow, emphasize the shadow para liliit yung sa ilong. Nakikita nyo. Iba kasi pag tama yung shadow ginag ginaguide niyo palagi katulad nito sorry ah hindi ako marunong mag-explain kinakabahan kasi ako <laughs> actually I'm so scared kasi hindi naman talaga ako magaling mahilig lang talaga ako ng mga ganitong style since bata pa ako yung actually na amazed talaga ako sa mga artist na super super ang galing talaga sa mga pen oo mahirap talaga ang shadow actually mahirap pero ang gagawin mo from light to dark yun lang from light to dark wag mo dapat dahan dahan then tingnan mo sa malayo actually you need to watch it from far para makita mo kung maganda na ba yung shadow mo or may proportion ba siya proportion ba siya kasi pag di mo tinitingnan sa malayo di mo talaga ma malalaman kung okay na yung shadow o hindi basta ang technique ng talaga is from light to dark use light colors first bago yung dark tapos patiently lang slowly slowly lang talaga ang pag drawing kasi mahirap kaya ng ball pen di mo ma-erase unlike sa ano unlike sa uh, pencil color pencil pwede mo ma-erase pag ball pen pag ganito hindi talaga kaya dahan-dahan lang talaga you should slowly yeah po malayo din ba Oo, sa malayo talaga, itinicheck mo yan kung okay na ba. Kasi pag, pag malapit, di mo masyado makita yung ano niya, uh, mga angles niya. Pero pag nasa malayo, makikita mo talaga yung saan ka dapat mag saan yung highlights mo saan yung dapat yung mas madiin yung shadow mo ganun talaga I'm happy ha Pilipino ka pala father and son akala ko foreigner ka din galing talaga na mga Pinoy ang daming magagaling na artist 
mga lahi ni Juan Luna. <laughs> Got to go. Oh, okay, sis. Thank you so much for supporting me, ha. Take care and please keep safe, ha. Bye. Love you, sis. When you think of the senses, you probably think of five different ones. Six different ones. Almost, na. Almost. Can you see the difference now? Then, diin mo dito ang yung yellow para ano, mas makita yung highlights mo. Then, cover it with yellow. Kaya, ganito talaga kaya importante si yellow. The body is actually like a sponge. Hindi mm, ako magaling also sa ano, yung one color pens, uh, one color ball pens. Hindi ako masyadong magaling doon. Mas sabihin natin, okay ako sa ganito. Hindi man ako super magaling. At least, I enjoy ng ganito nga klase na art style. Kaya nga, ah, nasiyahan ako pag nalaman ko nga Pinoy din ka pala father and son. Miss, madami na tayo. <laughs> Alam mo, may kaibigan ako. Ang galing-galing talaga. Si Koy. I don't, uh, parang may ano na siya, YouTube channel. Super, magaling yun. My name is Tara King. And I'm Danny O'Shea. And we are Pairs Figure Skaters who train in Colorado Springs. Nakikita mo na ba yung ilong? <laughs> Father and son? Nanonotice mo na ba yung uh, highlights, shadow? Dito kasi yung ano niya yung highlights area tapos dito yung dito na side yung medyo dark my shadow tapos dito ang highlights so focus ka more sa yellow dito ganun lang yan kung saan yung more yung lights okay Oh, parang colored pencil din. Parang colored pencil din. Kaya lang, kakaibahan dito sa what, uh, ball pen. Um, ang hirap magkamali kasi hindi ka pwede mag-erase. Hindi ka pwede mag-erase. Unlike sa colored pencil, pwede mo pwede mo yan eh, erase pero sa bold pen kailangan mo talaga mag concentrate tapos super light yung pag hawak mo sa bold pen para lang hangin <laughs> nakapatong para di masyado ma lalabas yung kulay parang ganun lang oh parang wala pero actually meron yan meron meron hello joy art thank you for coming uh, actually i'm a Cebuano. i'm trying to to speak tagalog uh, sorry if di ako masyadong marunong mag tagalog but uh, kakayanin ko para sa inyo <laughs> thank you for coming actually at this time nose lang muna yung kina 
Tapos, maybe tomorrow or next day yung lips naman. Um, nose muna tayo. Some of the major elements in pair skating, it's first the lift. Yeah, uh, super light lang yung paghawa para hindi masyado ma lalabas yung kulay kasi remember it's bolted it's not colored pencil yes ball pen I'm using ball pen like this one ball pen lang talaga to lahat to ball pen Oh. Just, yeah, ah, gana, ito din na mga classy na ball pen. It's ordinary ball pen. Pro more on the ong A. I'm using also this one. Dong A then, uh, run. May ginagamit din ako yung yung mga ordinary talaga I started with ordinary ball pen actually pag nilalaro mo lang talaga yung mga kulay and then makikita mo ang ganda pala gamitin and then mas ano siya mas concentrated yung kulay kaysa colored pencil. Kaya lang, yung colored pencil, pwede mo siya maging smooth tingnan. Pero sa ball pen, hindi ko pa yan alam kung paano magiging smooth. More kasi ang ball pen is a shadow, highlights, and mixing the colors. Kaya, pag gumamit kayo ng ball pen, just make it fun i-enjoy mo lang tapos mixing mixing lang talaga yan gold yellow yes i'm using gold ito gold ito light gold then ito yellow from ano ito paper mate ito yung yellow sa paper mate i think enjoy uh, gel, uh, gel pala to. Gel, gel. Kasi, ang hirap kasi maghanap ng ball pen na uh, yellow. Makikita mo lang ang mga yellow sa gel pen. Orange. Yes, I'm also using orange. This fine tech. Orange. Then, I also using sa ano yung iba kong hmm. ito din ginagamit ko din to itong klase ah, dong A pa rin na brand I love dong A or ano ba pang tawag dyan? dong A <laughs> dong A it's I think it's Korean brand Dong A is a Korean brand. Maybe. I'm using also this. Pero mas maganda ha, gumagamit kayo ng yung maliit na point. Yung ganito. Kung may 0.2, mas maganda kasi yung 0.2. Pero yung nabini ko, more on 0.3. Yung orange ko, 0.3 also. Ito lang muna ang i-concentrate ko, yung nose. Then, next time, yung ano naman, yung lips. 
and its unique ability to deepen a physical connection. Kailangan mo nang is around surrounded it with yellow para mag pop up yung ano sa nose mo. Yeah, almost zero point uh, zero up uh, zero point three talaga yung available usually sa national bookstore. Ah, uh, fully book then. Uh, I don't know fully book, yeah. I don't know kung meron to sa fully book. Basta sa National Bookstore at... Uh, I don't know, you. do you have art bar? Dito kasi sa Cebu may art bar. At uh, National Bookstore, then sa SM, may ganito din. This duality helps us sense the difference between a hug and a pinch. But there are many more layers of subtlety. Hello, Joy. All it takes <laughs> is the dedication to learn them. We've worked a very long time to have that second nature thing where I can put my hand out and she can just grab it. Mm, it's almost it done. Mm. There's no doubt highlight that this area. There's a reason they're called feelings. But all of our senses can create emotional responses. And it has to do with it's how different done. parts of the brain speak to each other. We're starting to finally get a glimpse into the inner workings of the brain. A really interesting field called optogenetics has been able to help us study the brain by getting parts of it to light up as it's functioning. Light, so we're starting light, to get a sense light, of how light, is it that light, the cells light, of the brain can craft our emotional experience of the world? Fine art mm, Actually, uh, graduate ako na BS Architecture. But I'm not an architect kasi hindi ako nakapag-board exam. Nag- <laughs> Pero nag-aral din ako ng fine arts every summer. Every summer. More on oil painting. Yung sa subject ko sa fine arts. I'm not good in charcoal actually. I'm not good in charcoal. And actually, nahihirapan akong mag watercolor. I'm not in good in watercolor. But in oil painting, I can do it. They spring that fragrance around them and then they can Oh, magin kay bigan kayo. In Indonesia and in Thailand. Kasi tayo lang mag support each other dito, mga Pilipino mga artists. Ang hirap kaya kumita dito sa YouTube. We thank you so much. Actually, I'm so nervous. This is my second time kasi nag live stream. There's some senses that are much more At first, uh smell actually is a very powerful. Yung anoko Ojen is my friend from Korea, but she's living in Germany. She's an a uh, musician, especially in Turns out that number is she's uh, actually she's known artist in Germany pero Korean na siya siya yung una kong naging audience sa uh, first live stream ko at hindi nga ako nakapagsalita kasi I'm so nervous and Parang natapos ko na tong episode na to. And maybe next, ano naman, dito naman tayo sa lips. Siguro next time, dito naman tayo sa lips. At as for now, dito lang muna tayo sa nose. Ewan ko kung anong kulay sa mga screen nyo. Pero sa aking 
it's very orange and yellow. I don't know sa ibang klase na screen kung ano ang kulay kasi hindi naman lahat ng ng mga screen katulad ng kulay lala, uh, same color yung lalabas tapos lalagyan ko naman ng think about using the olfactive materials as kind of like paint or an instrument if you were a musician. <laughs> Kaya nga, ang hirap na lang watercolor. Hindi ako magaling doon. Kahit, kahit graduate ako ng BS Architecture and kumukuha ako ng Fine Arts. Hindi talaga ako magaling sa, sa watercolor. Ang hirap kaya. Kaya... I really appreciate yung uh, magagaling sa watercolor. Ah, dream ko na fine art sa place na minamun. Ako rin ang continuous sa rin yung sikap lang alam ko. So, a Thank you ha. Thank you sa pag-support. And see you next time. It's time for me to go na kasi. And thank you, thank you talaga. I'm so happy na nagstay mo para magwatch ako ang video. Thank you so much, friends. And see you next time. Siguro sa lips naman next time. Maybe next week. I cannot do it tomorrow. I'm so busy. Bye. Love you guys. And God bless you. Keep safe. Take care, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all.